four, three, two, one. We're back. Hip hip hooray. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Speaking of hooray. Hooray. Uh, more victims at Barnes and Nobles from sniffers being catched on film sniffing people in the bookstore. What? There's a there's a type of people they're called sniffers. For what? So what they do is they go to like bookstores, grocery stores, and then they see women in dresses, and then they go and pretend, oh, this is nice book, and really they just bend over to sniff their asses. Oh my god! Called, I never hear about this. And they're like, called sniffers. Oh my god! That's, I was thinking Smurfs, but now it's sniffers. <laughs> so it says here, fo following yet another arrest for Barnes and Noble sniffer. A career sex predator. Yeah. Uh, one of his victims demanded that Los Angeles authorities take the pervert prowler more seriously. So this is a apparently this is a video that they have of the guy sniffing the girl. Let's see. I'm gonna play this for you. Oh, we got a commercial. We'll wait for the commercial. But basically, the guy. Bends down, sniffs girls' butts at the bookstore. So here. Okay. Okay, so this is the bit. All right, so look, you... and then she caught him. No, but that's what I'm saying. Like, okay, you have to tell the people what you see. I already explained it, you no, fucking you... retard. No, I see it. The but guy that... bends over, sniffing girls' asses. How many times do I have to say that? So what the fuck? What? You have a problem. <laughs> <laughs> Not a big deal. Yes, it is. You can't just go and sniff people's assholes in public. If you if you hot chick come to you and say, Hey, can I sniff your bones? And you say, Sure. <laughs> no, I think I would be confused if say of course, I, you no. Yeah. Say I was in a grocery store. A grocery store. And there's a hole in the shelf. Yeah. And I see a girl's head just start peeking through the hole. Yeah. And I like say, the, What's up? Like this. And then she's like directly staring at my dick and balls and going. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. I would be like, bitch, what the fuck are you sniffing for? There's no truffles in here, okay? I would say, hello, what's up over there? And she'd say, your bones is beautiful, I'm like, thank you. Can I sniff it? Oh, sure, sure. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's, you have to be open mind. Help people with this stuff. No, people are sick and they no, want to... No, but that's fucking crazy how this... Some people have to sniff butts. I'm like, no, I understand this, but uh, you know, I live in a crazy world right now, so I nothing surprised me. The world is crazy. First of all, why the fuck are you going to a bookstore when everything is like audio books and you can listen to them like on all these apps for free? No, no, no. Hey, I stop you right now. What? Why women go to the bookstore? Because they don't. Some women don't know how you can use it, how phone use it. So that's. That oldest town. So you're you're blaming the only reason women are going to bookstores is because they don't know how to use a phone when they all take naked pictures of themselves and sell it on OnlyFans. Not each one. So so you go into the like a, a and they make millions of dollars with their phones. Like your parents are crazy. They said on no Snapchat. phones to do eighteen or something. So yeah. what they do? They go into the bookstore, grab a book, and then there's fucking another guys who fucking don't know what to do with the time. 
say, oh, I can go to bookstore and sniff some ass. <laughs> yeah, guys ca- uh, cashing in disability checks. <laughs> and they're going in and fucking sniffing fucking <laughs> ass. No. But it, it's crazy that just... Stop. Uh, yeah, your your girl can't even go to the bookstore because yeah, she. Why really, she can't go to the bookstore? She have to go to the bookstore if she have to do the naked pictures with the phone. You just said. Yeah. So what the fuck? That's what I'm saying. It doesn't make sense. Why are people still going to bookstores? Because there's books still there and bookstores. Are but still. I can literally go right now on Spotify. Yeah, but people have no internet. Yes, they do. No, there what? is free Wi-Fi. Fucking everywhere! Not everywhere! Everywhere! Not here! Everywhere! It's, it's a block from McDonald's, the grocery store, yeah. Tim Hortons, Wendy's, <laughs> fucking the mall! Library! Airports! Library! Everywhere! Yeah, library! Free Starbucks! Free fucking internet everywhere! There's no fucking excuse! And if you can afford a phone that costs fucking two thousand dollars now for a fucking phone, people have you no can phones. you can afford. They go to the fucking read the goddamn books. internet. No. Yeah. Not everybody's like you. What smart? I know. <laughs> it's fucking horrible. Hey, you didn't. But look, what audio books. Holy shit! I see this fight yesterday. The fucking guy. The, 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 Hammer the black guy to the floor. <laughs> yeah, Sugar and Sean won. Holy fuck. He's the world champion. Yeah, but that was a little cheesy. How did he stop? He don't give him a chance. He was flipping. He was pre- defending himself. See, he, I think so the stoppage was too early. What was the stoppage too early? To, f- uh, you know, the fight. Because the guy what was mean, not he knocked him the fuck out. No, he yeah. was not unconscious. He was not stop flipping and flapping. He was just fucking. No, flipping. he wasn't defending himself. No, and he was he getting was. pounded in the fucking face. Yeah, but just like these girls get pounded with the guy's nose in their ass. No, he don't touch them. He just smell them. That's just very good. He no, smell everybody. No, you can't just go up to random people and be like, "You smell." Yeah, I almost say to fucking check. But then I turned around. Yeah, that's called going to jail. No, no, listen. <laughs> I was in Under Armour store. Yeah. A true story. Two days ago. Uh-huh. And it was packed, yeah? Mm-hmm. And the fucking some kind of, you know, uh, people from the e- Middle East came. And it was like fucking packed. But every fucking husband have to have a wife in the store with him. And every wife was holding shit, and you know, they was have a burka. You can barely see her nose and face. Mm-hmm. And they standing with clothes, and the husband's non-stop. Pick it up shit, give it to a woman. Like, oh my god. Mm-hmm. I'm like this. I, would sm- I get sniff something. Mm-hmm. And I'm turning around, that's the woman with burka. I just want to say, hey woman, you need shower. <laughs> but I said, oh no, and this is going to cast the... Uh, United States War War Three. That's right. what we were laughing with the fucking burka one. We were... She, I, I, I'm guessing, was so hot that day, she fucking sweat like crazy and then stuff stink. You can't go to the stores on and off with this fucking winter clothes. No, they wear silk. Silk doesn't. No, fuck. Oh sweat. shit, man. That, that was man fucking sweat. On this woman, <laughs> I, I usually we... I don't say that, but that I was thinking this man. I just want to say, hey, fucking, you stink. You need shower. I just want to say that, but I turn around and this woman of burka. And, oh fuck! I stabbed myself because you know you you know hurt the woman. Fucking, does not her fucking fault. The fucking retardation of religion tell her look like m- mummy, mummy. Yeah, mummy. <laughs> go to yeah. the store. <laughs> and if you die, you already ready to go to that. <laughs> you all no, fun. they wrap you up even more when you die. Yeah, that's what yeah. I'm saying. Yeah, they they make you like a whole fucking cocoon going fucking. But we were laughing even at uh, work today with the one guy. Oh, he's like, I finally took a shower. Oh, after getting my tattoo. And he got his tattoo almost two weeks ago. Yeah, but you can take So we started laughing. We're like, did this guy not take a shower for two weeks? 
And we're like, oh, he must smell like fucking... Hey, stop it. Smell like dirty ass. And we were wondering if we wear the same boxers the whole time for two weeks. Because they tell you, don't take the shower two two weeks, but you can shrink wrap the two and... Yeah, they put you, the wrap. Yeah, and you take the shower. And yeah, I went... Was maybe he didn't understand first time, he didn't know it. And this is like me. his third tattoo. And he's... So he didn't take shower six weeks? No, he's... <laughs> yeah, he... Every two weeks. Yeah. I have to stop. He's very anal... With the, when I got my tattoo, I fucking went swimming with elephants the, the next day, fucking, in a river. That's crazy. And then I, and, and I even you, cut my finger open no, at the elephant place and went in the water with an open finger wound. No, that's even more crazy. Yeah. yeah. Because there's something can go inside and cast infection. Yeah. But that's what you bring, this fucking infection from fucking Thailand. It's the fucking stupid thing. The finger infections I got fucking seven months later. Oh, the slow infection. <laughs> <laughs> you never know. You never know. A California store owner mm -hmm. was shot dead after alleged dispute over a gay pride flag. In the States? I said California, yeah. That's in the States. Says here the suspect was killed in a lethal force encounter with deputies, according to authorities. It says here a California business owner was fatally shot after a dispute with a man over a gay pride flag hanging at her clothing store, according to police. So who attacked who? Deputies with the San Bernardino Sheriff's Office reported or responded to a clothing shop call in Cedar Glen Friday at 5 p.m. of reports of shooting, the sheriff's office said they discovered the store's owner, a 66-year-old, had a gunshot wound. She was pronounced dead at the, at the store. That's a new one. Dead at the store. Who shot her? The customer. Why? Because there's a, apparently a gay flag hanging outside. So customer didn't like the gay... Flag, flag on her store and yeah. shoot the owner? and shoot the 66-year-old woman. And she didn't say nothing to him? Like, it was provoking? Like, gay or something? No. Why well, he shot I, We're gonna fi oh, find oh, out. Oh, okay, okay. An investigation, yeah. It says your authority said during their investigation, detectives learned the suspect made several disparaging remarks about the rainbow flag that stood outside the store before shooting... Uh, the woman, the suspect who has been, has not been identified, fled the store on foot after the shooting. So they didn't even catch the guy. He fucking dipped. Just shot the store owner for no reason. Yeah, that's for the, this nice remarks. That's what they reminded me yesterday. I was on Costco and the guy was running, walking and saying very loud, God is not... Human because it's love. Okay. I'm the same thing. I'm like, okay. Yeah. And I see him again, fucking walking over there. Look like he worried there. But fucking, he's very loud. He said, God is love. Love is God. Holy fuck. Jesus. People get crazy. And then you said, one more time. <laughs> no. I don't want to. Let's go. I know what I mean by demon coming outside, and then I'm gonna be, that's it. You say, yeah, God is my semen, mm -hmm. and he's gonna shoot his love all over you. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, but, like, some people get crazy. All people are getting crazy. No, but that's, you see more often everywhere. Like, fuck. Because they're putting more chemicals in food, they're fucking giving people more pills, they're fucking, fucking everyone's chemical balance. They should balances. have EI cops. What cops? E, you know, the robots cops. Like EI cops. AI. AI cops. So then they not put up with this bullshit. So, <laughs> yeah, they just shoot the Yeah, people. exactly. They will say, sir, you do all out. <laughs> Fuck you! Okay, sir, the second warning. If you, you know, come down, we shoot you. Fuck you! <laughs> oh my god. Everybody will behave like crazy. Yeah, I love robots. <laughs> There's a full. I watched a video. Full restaurant in Japan, completely all the employees, everyone's robots. 
Yeah, that's cheap for them. The robot comes to you. They pay once for robots. And yeah, that's, that's it. it. You don't have to pay any and money. And now you have to, put, you know, uh, in the race. Yeah, you gotta change the screw. Uh, I have a fucking somebody sniffing, yeah. but now I have some <laughs> some kind of sniffer guy. Yeah, someone's what? fingering my robot. God yeah, damn it! Fucking a guy. Try shoot me yesterday. I on a bicycle, have my pride <laughs> reflect, and he say, "Fuck you, gay." I'm like, "Oh, <laughs> yeah, fuck you, straight." <laughs> and then we had a shootout on the yeah, street. Fucking, are you transvestite? <laughs> uh, shit, fuck, uh, whatever. I but don't it, know. But it says here that the guy fled on foot. Police were able to track the suspect down, finding him with a handgun that same day. Yeah. The suspect was killed by deputies in a lethal force encounter. So they chased they chased the guy, found him, and they shot him dead on the street. What he was running from? The police. No, but what happened? He shot the fucking store owner. Oh, that you still talking about this guy? Yeah. I was thinking he he was already arrested and cop. No, the cops shot oh, him. Oh fuck! On the so street. they choose chase him. Yeah. And they, and they said, "Sir, put the gun away." And he's like, no! And then the cops are like, yes! <laughs> so to fucking die on Friday at 5 p.m. <clears throat> you don't even have enjoyed weekend. Yeah, you go shopping for t-shirts and then you see colors and then the colors make you mad. Wah. And then you gotta shoot the old lady. Oh, and... this reminds me of the wah today. I was saying, wah. But who was saying to this? Some guy was crying. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and I'm like, fuck, yes, Jesus, you think you have life just fuck? Yeah, and he was yelling, God is love! <laughs> no, that was his neck <laughs> <laughs> You can't say, you know, the guy will be killing me, and I'm like, I have to escape to the freezer and pretend. Yeah, he's gonna attack me with the $1 hot dog. Oh, that's remind me, you say $1, that's actually trigger something. Today is an unbelievable day. Yeah, 100 rubles is worth it, 1 US dollars, they said. That's unbelievable. The market crashed finally. Mm -hmm. So for $1 you can buy, it was showing, loaf of the bread, normal loaf of bread cost 34 rubles. Mm -hmm. But if you have like fancy bread, it's 50 rubles. So for $1 you can buy two big loaf fancy breads. So this, <laughs> here in Canada, we screw up. We couldn't buy loaf of bread for one dollar. Mm -hmm. We have to pay five dollars for one bread. I'm buying it now. Mm -hmm. Cool. No, that's fucking ripple. No, that's why people from Canada leaving this country. It's the worst country ever. This is woman, honest to God. Yesterday she explained so good about Canada. She said that because we have. We, we pay so much taxes, mm -hmm. our healthcare, healthcare is not free. And if you calculate our taxes we're paying, we pay more for healthcare when United States pay. Mm -hmm. In the United States, you pay $900 per year for healthcare, something like this. Yeah, but she doesn't know every time you want to see the doctor in the States, they want you to pay a $2,500 Hey! They want you to pay a $2,500 deductible every time you want to s fucking see a doctor or a therapist or anything. Even drugs in the States. That's what you're not realizing. Look at this dance. Yeah, they're knocking the whole no, no, fucking table. No, no, you're missing. Table. You're missing this beautiful dance. Look at the faces. We're trying to talk to hey, the people. What happened? About this man shooting over gay flags. Is that yeah. It says here, when deputies yeah. attempt to contact the suspect, the a lethal force encountered mm -hmm. occurred. What happened? Uh, it's still about this guy? Yeah. Oh, okay. And the suspect was pronounced deceased. Well, they should No, yeah, yeah, they should. The dead. Guy. How many times they shoot him? Nine times? <laughs> they should announce them. Dead on the road. No, no, but they shoot him nine times? Nine mm -hmm. times? I don't, I don't because know. Because he was... Yeah, he was complaining. No, he was complaining nine times to the, about this flag. Yeah. So they captured. Okay. Remember the ice cream that we talked about? Yeah, we have something with ice cream. Do you remember what the bacteria was called that we talked about? Yes, this one. <laughs> 
Yeah, self sniffer. <laughs> self sniffer. No, what is the bacteria called? Listeria. Oh, listerine. Yeah, yeah. Like listerine. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So now I say no. Stop. Na- now. No. They discover now. They found out three people died from milkshakes. <laughs> From Listeria? From Listeria is now in the milkshakes. From the same oh, because Listeria... They, because they use the same fucking ice cream. From the ice cream machines, they were contaminated, and three people died, apparently, from milkshakes. So it says here, the three people have died, and three others have been hospitalized after drinking milkshakes contaminating with Listeria bacteria from a restaurant in Tacoma... Washington health official said. So they were making milkshakes with the ice cream machine that had bacteria recalls. And they and they still kept making okay. milkshakes with the recalled ice cream, it what seems does that, like. This machine smell for you. No. Not like her ass yesterday in the bookstore. <laughs> <laughs> but I think so we should keep making the I uh, the milkshake still. Okay. Yeah. Next one. I don't feel good. Oh, you pussy. <laughs> Next. <laughs> yeah, it says here investi- investigators. I don't take shower two weeks. <laughs> yeah. I got a ice cream stain. I can't uh, wash I it. I have tattoo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it says here investigators. <laughs> Uh, found the outbreak was linked to the ice cream machines that were found not clean properly. Oh, fuck. Goes what? Did you wash machine? Yeah, you want to know what the restaurant was called? I don't remember. (laughs) Did you wash or not? Uh, Yeah. Imagine you're the employee and it's like, Jim, did you remember to wash the ice cream machine last night? No, I forgot what happened. Well, three people died. (laughs) No, or, or like three. this. And it's like three. Yeah, and there's three more in the hospital from your milkshakes. Or, Jim, we saw how you washed machine last night. <laughs> You're shooting. I know, I know. I know, remember. <laughs> you want to see it? Yeah. <laughs> With your penis. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you were sniffing it. No, you was wiping your jizz on our machines <laughs> With your less than penis. <laughs> Well, don't worry about it. Only three people die. <laughs> the, you want to hear the... Fucking that's why I never go. You don't see me going buying ice cream. No, who the fuck goes out and gets milkshakes? No, I'm... Since I started watching the fucking Golden Ramsey. Yeah. Fucking the Hell's Kitchen. I don't go to no restaurant. Not even to yours. Even once. Mm-hmm. Uh, no. Mm-hmm. I hear stories raccoons. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, raccoons, yeah. Jesus. Jesus, yeah. <laughs> what Whatever we have left, we make special. I'm like, well, that's the left or over must be very old because there's so much left over and they make special. Next day, everybody diarrhea. <laughs> <laughs> that's the special diarrhea. <laughs> Holy fuck. So I don't even go to normal McDonald's. Why? Lately. Nothing. I, I, I went at two a.m. this morning. Oh my god! That it was you. delicious. Yeah. Did you? How did your uh, entrance to pr- the property was yesterday? Oh, he lives in a beautiful building. <laughs> well, two thousand dollars. Yeah. Must be just for building. Yeah. It's... How big is apartment, I'm asking? Oh, it's not big. <laughs> <laughs> That's why. Yeah. The beauty is outside, not in. Okay. Yeah. When you drive up to the building. Okay, so are you walking in? Nice. Yeah, there's a security guard at the desk. You say hi to the well, security not, guard. What's that, no, it's like some brown lady fucking. Hello. Yeah, so then you said, oh, I'm visiting my friend. Yeah, and she's like, okay. Oh, great gay bird. <laughs> yeah. We love gays. Come on. And then so we, and so then how was watch... his apartment inside? Everything. How's your kitchen? How's your, your, you know, for your zoop too? It's good. It's like all, his apartment's like all open concept. Oh, so there's no walls. There's like just one big living just, room. Yeah, it's literally like kitchen, living room. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. And then the only rooms that are rooms is the washroom and the bedroom. Oh, actually, you have bedroom. Yeah. Sometimes they even have a bedroom in the corner, which is, I'm in the bedroom, then you're walking five feet, now I'm in the living room, now I'm in... Yeah, and no one knows what the fuck we're talking about. <laughs> Stop it. Get a bow. 
So yeah, so yeah, we're, we're scouting uh, new spots for a new show. No, 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 but yeah. I, we was just off the topic for a second. Yeah, I want to talk about people dying from milkshakes. Yeah, milkshake, uh, nothing like milkshakes. So the property at the Fergal's restaurant in Tacoma, according to a release from the Washington State Department of Health, listeria can affect people up to seven. 70 days after it could fucking kill you you could drink the milkshake and be like man this milkshake was fucking good and you go two months later on vacation and you're like oh man and you were talking about a river in the fucking Thailand six months later oh, what are you thinking that the river works very mysterious way infects you now you fucking have like a retardation Something on your fingers. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. No, but yes, these people it's die. The same thing. People are dying from this listeria in milkshakes. But how possible that that bacteria like growing and growing and yeah, growing it grows. in that's your what body? Happened. Yeah, it's that's like, what I'm saying. Killing you. It's like you can find but, out. Mommy, that's... can I have ice cream? You sure you want ice cream? We will be delicious. I know. In the or you can die two months from now. <laughs> mm -hmm. For what? For this called Listerine. Oh my god, I washed my tea yesterday. I drink Listerine. I'm gonna be dead. Not this kind of Listerine. This Listerine is good. It says here that CNN has reached out to Fergals, but has no immediate herd back. They are all confusing. Man. They they all died from milkshakes. Yeah, they're like, oh no, I don't feel good. I'm not gonna talk to this. Yeah. It says here the six individuals were hospitalized between February 27th and July 22nd, and genetic fingerprinting from the bacteria inside the milkshakes showed it was the same strand of lis listeria. That triggered the hospitalizations, the health department said, which was the ice cream. So what, they know, didn't wash it? No pretending nothing? But it says two of the three who survived said they had milkshakes from the same Fergals in Tacoma before getting sick. Yeah, but they they didn't say, like, what, how this, two months later, they figured out this is from milkshake? Yeah, they go to the hospital and then they say you have a listeria bacteria in you. Where where did you go? And it's like I went milkshakes because I didn't eat ice cream. I went to get. A I, I didn't eat ice cream. <laughs> I ate just milkshake. And the, uh, the same and the shit. Mil and the milkshakes. The same machine. The milkshakes do bring all the boys to the yard. Fuck. <laughs> Nothing like fucking. I don't know even what I'm drinking though. Yeah, it says uh, symptoms of listeria infection includes... You have better vision. <laughs> includes way. fever and muscle aches and sometimes diarrhea or other gastrointestinal problems. Sounds. Yeah. It'll be oh, like, shit, it's I like don't... an EDM concert. No, this is like fucking, you know, it's crazy time. Yeah, and you're asked. Feel like I'm gonna give and, birth to the and twins. Then the, and then the guy from the bookstore is like, I can smell the hysteria coming out of you from here. Yeah. Yeah. And then everybody gets hysteria. Because <laughs> there's a man the, sniffing the diarrhea bottle. And they start running away. Yeah. And then they see fucking per, uh, rainbow flag and they start shooting each other. <laughs> yeah, they're like, there's too many colors. I can't handle and this. And the guy fucking screaming from the downtown fucking CD where they're shooting. They stop shooting. I just can't be shot in two weeks. I have a tattoo. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, we're gonna... I'm gonna look up Fergal's Tacoma, Washington. Tacoma, Washington. Yeah, better, better. Restaurant. They have a high rating. It's a 4.5 rating. On how many? Out of 5. Are you sure? Yeah. Even maybe though three on, people died. Maybe on 12. Even though three people just died in the past six months. <laughs> See, that's what I find out. Only fat people eat ice cream. And only five people eat, eat milkshakes. If you will be no fat, I will be no buy this thing. Like me. You don't see me buying anywhere milkshake or fucking Listen, ice cream. If you see a picture of what this restaurant looks like, you'd be like, for sure someone would die from eating here. Okay, let me see the restaurant and my reaction. Okay. 
Okay, I, can, I think so. I see what goes Okay, yeah. this is what the restaurant looks like. <laughs> That's the restaurant? That's the restaurant. I look like the fucking some kind of McDonald's size. Because it's like tiny. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like uh, fast food. Like just drive through. Yeah, like when's the when's yeah. Oh, yeah. Ooh, they're offering look, it says join our team. Fergals offering our employees competitive wages starting at nineteen to twenty two dollars per hour, including tips. Additional we offer our employees. That's a good money. Tw- yeah, because they have to hire everybody every two months because they're dead. They die, yeah. No, look at Like, if you go, you go $22 US, USD <sighs> That's not to good. Canadian. <laughs> um, two bucks. <laughs> no, it's a big difference. Look. I'm going to put it. 22 US, USD. <laughs> so, if you make 20 so, twenty-two dollars an hour American we're, we're for now, is right? get guess how much it is in Canadian. Thirty-three. Yeah, like almost thirty dollars an hour to work at a burger shop. Yeah, where you can die with tips. <laughs> with tips. I would work here twenty-nine dollars an hour to make hamburgers. What is no you know making so much money? <laughs> no, because in Canada sucks. You said Canada sucks. That's terrible. Man. I could go to Tacoma, Washington right now, apply to Fergals, the amazing Fergals, yeah, and make twenty nine dollars an hour starting. That's my starting pay. That's not even including. Fucking, uh, like, what I could get later on for working there. It says here, pro- look, and it says here, proficient, pr- proficiency raises ample opportunity for advanced flexible scheduling, plus more perks to come. Oh. We are a growing company, and we are always looking for creative new ways to reward and retain our hard-working em- employees. <laughs> Bigger restaurant is doing me. You can't turn around. It's so small. Uh, you know what's funny? What? They don't have their menu on their website. I wanted to see what their menu looked like. It just says join team. Oh, for sure they have ice creams and milkshakes. Milkshakes, yeah. <laughs> you think they would get rid of the milkshakes after no, people die from the buy milkshakes? buy new machine. New machine? They look good, nice. Let's look up, what's the average, let's see, how, houses for sale. Oh, it's fucking cheaper in here. How for for sale in Tacoma, Washington. Oh, Grant moving to Tacoma. I think I'm going to go he work gonna, at... He's going to save the fucking guys, milkshakes. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, it looks like I might move to Tacoma, and Washington. two months later, he's going to shit his brains out. <laughs> The houses are kind of expensive. How much for a house? Uh, first house that came up, it's two bedrooms, 1,500 square feet. Oh, okay, it's bigger than this one. $335,000 US. Oh, that's... So that's half a million dollars. Check for houses in Buffalo. They must be cheaper. That will be half price from this. 1,500, that's like your old house with Bob Chow. This one house... <clears throat> this, this house... Is 500 square feet in Tacoma, Washington. So it's like, like my room. <laughs> for for $300,000. No, it must be an ice pump. Ice um, uh, maker. It, it literally looks like a shed with a dirt fucking patch, not even a driveway, in yeah. Tacoma, Washington. Yeah. And you want to go. Yeah, maybe I won't go. These, <laughs> these houses look like shit. Overpriced shit. That's why people never even go to the restaurant. Why? Because they because have to they pay for their money. shit? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. It was looking pretty good for girls for a second there. Yes, he does always look. 
look better than twenty two dollars American. It's nothing. It's thirty dollars Canadian. Yeah, but they know you know working forty hours a week. They're gonna give you twenty, and that's it. So the but that's even better because you get tips on top of that. So you can take home. Who give you literally? Tips? Did you return? Yeah. Going there? You can literally take home a hundred dollars a day cash. On top of that. That's what I'm saying. I think this is crazy. Because there's no servers. It's just the person at the window. One how they give you tip? One guy in the kitchen. Yeah, that's what I'm and saying. And then you're splitting. Yeah, but how do they give you tip? If you have what do you no, mean? You don't even sell them. You just give them food. Mm-hmm. So they say, oh. And then they tip you. They say, thank you for the food. That's how most restaurants work. No, there's a restaurant, but you... That's what this place is. It's a restaurant. Oh, no. Fergal. Fucking go to school, do something. Fucking talk about fast food restaurants all the time. Yeah, because there's good money in it. Well, no, it's not. Yes, it is. Because people are retarded. They're, they're too lazy to work. <laughs> they're too uh, busy at bookstores sniffing women's assholes all day uh, that are not even that great looking. They're like, look at this fucking asshole on this woman. I need to smell it. And then I'm going to go get myself a milkshake and, <laughs> and fucking die six months later. It's fucking insane. Like you said, everyone wants to leave Canada, right? Oh, you know this this plane, Malaysia something plane, who they can't find nowhere. Did they find out today that fucking UFO disappeared this fucking plane? Mm-hmm. Look, they have radar and ultraviolet, and they even talk to the fucking minister of the Malaysia, and they say it was some kind of bullshit flying around the plane, the plane, poof, after, look. Look, look, look. That's not a poof. real video. No, that they, they were showing, see? See, they saying about this, uh -huh. and they showing, that's from ultra, look at this, mm -hmm. and look what happened, that's the guy said, fuck me. They sh they just uh, say it now. That fucking thing disappeared. Nobody say, even the general say, yeah, right before uh, United blobs, some kind of blobs. He said, said a large object, Malaysia airplane, satellite pictures showing this fucking thing flying, 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 and poof. Mm -hmm. See, I'm like, <coughs> and look what the plane disappeared, mm -hmm. right over there. So I don't know. Let's see what he said. Wait, wait, listen, you know what it's that? It's interesting. ...knows that UFOs are responsible. Back in 2014, a Malaysian airplane went missing shortly after taking off. And now new videos are emerging showing UFOs swarming the airplane right before it disappears. Sounds crazy. I get it. But here are the evidence. Malaysian authorities said an unidentified blob was around the plane at the time of the disappearance. What do you see on that? It's a blob. It's a blob. Dude, and Chinese satellites picked up three objects right next to the airplane. What a coincidence. The video shows three objects swarming the airplane. And guess what? The American satellite that recorded this video is called NROL-22, and it orbited right next to the airplane at the time of its disappearance, proving the satellite was in position to record the video. Here's the weird part. The craft was carrying a confidential cargo that hasn't been publicly disclosed. So people are thinking the UFO intercepted the plane for the cargo. And to top it off, the Malaysian Prime Minister said that the CIA is covering something up. Yeah, don't do drugs, kids. Uh... <laughs> look, look at this, uh, the daddy of the, our Prime Minister. All right, we can't play music on oh, here, you oh, fucking yeah, yeah, idiot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. They say you can't play now. No. Did you check new rules? There's no no. You can't play. <laughs> Listen, Jeffrey Epstein's mansion oh. just got sold to a mysterious buyer. For five dollars. <laughs> <laughs> it says here, okay, Jeffrey Epstein's ranch in New Mexico where the billionaire pedophile planned to impregnate scores of women and seed the human race with his DNA 
has finally been sold. Jesus Christ, what a description for the house. <laughs> As you can see here in this beautiful mansion, Jeffrey Epstein would would love to impregnate women and spread his seed to spread his DNA in the human race. Yeah, like all elite <laughs> going to have elite kids. With yeah, this, not because elite women. apparently Jeffrey Epstein is very elite. No, he was <laughs> he was providing elite do that. Yeah. He, not elite, but he was provide like the fucking the Prince Charles, whatever this other fucking Rita was. Allegedly. Like. No, was there. Yeah, not at this house. No, yeah. Where? Listen, this <laughs> is a, he went to Bacchia? No one knew he had a house in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Oh, you have probably houses everywhere, <laughs> for, you know, re, uh, recruiting version. Yeah, it says here the convicted sex offender acquired the... 7,588-acre Zorro Ranch near Albuquerque in early 1990s and built a 33,000-square-foot mansion there. Although Epstein was never charged with a crime in New Mexico, the ranch is considered a key part of his sex trafficking operation and his partner in crime, Ghislaine Maxwell was accused of sexually abusing several women there. Maxwell was sentenced to 20 years in prison in June last year for grooming and sexually abusing underage girls with Epstein. When Epstein died in 2019 while awaiting trial for sex trafficking minors, the ranch was listed, yeah, was listed in his will along with a flat a flat that he owned in Paris a mansion he owned in Manhattan, and a house he owned in Palm Beach, and an island in the Caribbean that he also owned, was, which the estate was valued at $577 million. That's what he owned when he died. It says here the ranch was first... Put up for sale for twenty-seven million dollars to own seven thousand acres of land. That's fucking crazy. I don't even think there's countries that big. No. I, I so I, it says here, but this price was slashed to twenty-one million dollars a year later after local estate agents express the. That they said that the price was too high, no one's gonna buy it for that price. The rape houses sell for <laughs> half price now. Yeah, the rape house is on sale. What I said, stop it. Anyway, I have this one girl where we were talking early, talking about Canada. Here you go. She lives in states, and she come back to Canada and she give you the the uh -huh. voice. Okay, wait a second. <laughs> she gives you the voice. Yeah. Look at this. Okay, ready. It's a completely different place. I moved away about two years ago. I've been living in the U.S. for two years. But I come back to Canada quite often. And I have noticed, or I should say I've made, a lot of observations of just how it continues to keep going downhill. For starters, the cost of living in Canada is absolutely insane. I don't understand how they get away with it. I saw a house not too far from mine, that was a piece of garbage. It was so bad. It was old, falling apart. It was horrible. And out of curiosity, I looked up how much it was selling for. $350,000. I was younger, $350,000 got you a really nice place, at least where I'm from. Now it's like, you need like $700,000 plus to even get a half decent home. And the cost of groceries is absolutely insane. I shop at Trader Joe's in the U.S., so my grocery order is about sixty to sixty-five dollars every two weeks. Which can't complain. I'm happy with that. Every and two weeks, here, sixty dollars. I went to a local farmers market yeah, down the street by because I just try to support every time I'm home. And I got like five just little things, like a bag of chips a jar of peanut butter, a package of cookies, like simple things. And it came to $62. Like in what world, you know? That is crazy. 
That is my whole grocery order in the U.S. And here, like, that wouldn't even feed me for three days. And gas? I filled up my mom's SUV for her the other day because she wasn't quite on low fuel, but, like, it was getting there. And I thought, oh, I'll be nice. I'll fill up her tank. <laughs> so I put the amount in $75 because I thought this should fill up her tank. It didn't even, it barely got it above halfway. She told me it takes about $140 to fill her gas tank. And she doesn't even have like a giant SUV. It's just like a normal standard size SUV. The healthcare system, completely trash, trash. If you need to see your doctor, you need to book like three months in advance. And if you need anything serious, like a surgery or an ultrasound, it's like a year long wait list. Like just forget it. Oh, and let me add, when you do get to go to your doctor, they don't even want to give you the time of day. And now they have a thing, every concern you have, you're supposed to book a separate appointment for it. So I can't ask about more than one thing per appointment. What? I've had a chest infection for like a month and finally got into my doctor and they prescribed me a nasal spray. And they were like, no, it's probably not an infection. Just try this nasal spray. I've been on it for like two weeks. Hasn't done anything. I know you have to pay for healthcare in the U.S. and it's expensive. And I know that sucks too. But at least like you get what you pay for and you get to see a doctor when you need to. It's like here it's free, but it's like you might not even live by the time your next appointment exactly. comes. The homelessness is so sad. I could not believe coming home and going to like the biggest city near me it's not a big city at all it's still a small town but i went through the streets just for a walk i couldn't believe how many homeless people there are and it's just so sad because it's like i get it i don't know how if you don't have a really good job how do you live but yet in my hometown they're spending millions of dollars to build an outdoor skating rink Another outdoor skating rink, let me add, because we already have four. Meanwhile, there's going to be people that freeze over the winter because they can't even afford to live in a home or live in any sort of structure whatsoever. It just makes no sense to me how we have millions of dollars to put into stupid things, like I said, a fourth or fifth skating rink, but we're not helping people that need help, and we're not even helping middle-class people who... Maybe they don't need a ton of help, but it would be nice if they could afford gas and to live. And I know the U.S. isn't perfect either by any means, and they have a whole other set of issues. But Canada is a much better, if not worse, honestly. And I am so glad that I moved away and I don't have to live here because I don't know how people do it anymore. And it's so sad because I was born and raised here. I've always been such a proud Canadian, and there's just nothing to be proud of anymore. That's right. It's shit happened. I feel this, too. Yeah, well, speaking of shit <laughs> happening, Starbucks told to pay $2.7 million to in lost wages to manager fired after arrest of two black men. Oh, yeah, that was the story, remember? It says the he story. called cops on these two black guys sitting in, and they no let them sit there. They kicking them out because mm -hmm. they didn't order nothing. I remember that story. So it says here a judge has ordered Starbucks yeah. to pay an additional two point seven million dollars in lost wages and tax damages to a former regional manager who was earlier rewarded more than twenty five million dollars after alleged sh she. And other white employees were unfairly punished following the high profile arrests of two black men at the store at a store in 2018. It says here in June, Shannon Phillips won six hundred thousand dollars in compensation and damages and twenty-five million in punitive damages after a jury in New Jersey found that race was a determinative factor in Phillips' firing in violating of federal and state anti-discrimination laws. So who fucking... Wait! From you, what are you reading? I still don't know who get the money. The employee. Why? For, fire, for uh, 
discriminated to black people? Yeah, she got fired for being discriminative to black people. And then they wrote and wanted her money back? Yeah, because they said what she did was right. For what? What she did right? She realized that those black men were criminals. No, they wasn't. Yes, they were. No, I see the video. They have a tape from this. It thing. says here, the Philadelphia Inquirer reports that the U.S. District Judge Wednesday ordered Starbucks to pay Phillips another $2.73 million dollars in past and future lost earnings and benefits, as well as compensation for tax uh, disadvantages due to the lump sum, according to the court documents. The company opposed paying any amount, saying Phillips had not proven she couldn't have earned the same, the same or more in the future. Nobody it, know. It says here in April of 2018, a Philadelphia store manager called the police on two black men yes. who were sitting in a coffee shop yes. without ordering nothing. Nothing. They was waiting for somebody. I know. They said this. Yeah. Can we wait here? And she said, you can't wait here. It says here, the two men were later released without charges. <clears throat> exactly. Phillips, then regional manager of operations in Philadelphia, southern New Jersey. Oh my god, skip the shit. Keep and going. E elsewhere was not involved with arrests. However, she said she was ordered to put a white manager who also wasn't involved on administration leave for reasons she knew were false according to her lawsuit. So basically what happened was... No, I tell you what happened. No, this no. is what happened. She's a white woman. Like, they painted it like it was a racist thing, but it wasn't. It was basically... Philadelphia's a big... Nobody said pop. nothing about they was criminal. You just said they was criminal. I didn't hear nothing you said they was uh, convicts. They went to a store. No, I tell you, I know the listen, I know this story. So occupying that, so space. Don't, I tell you this story. So the manager so said I, you have to leave. So no, listen, that's what happened. Yeah. I tell you, listen what happened. I know the story. And so I, she got fired for being racist when it wasn't racist. No, no, no. They no. didn't buy nothing. No, no, it was racist. No, it's not. No, listen, let me tell you story how this little guy. What happened is two guys came to the black, uh, Starbucks. Yeah. Do not order nothing. They were sitting in the corner. So they fucking find the act and hey, listen, you order something or say no, we're waiting for somebody. So that's what happened. So then she said, No, you have to order. So say, No, we just we don't have money, but we're waiting for somebody. Mm -hmm. So then she started uh, calling cops, cops calling, they have a cameras. I remember you see these black people. Mm -hmm. And then the fucking talking, hey you guys have to leave and everything. Yeah. And that's dispute so much anger everybody black people so they were scared Starbucks was scared Starbucks no manager no. Starbucks was scared fucking they gonna burn the fucking places now so they say run away that was not good my manager was wrong they're gonna be fired that Starbucks did cover the ass to make this escalation to fucking burning cities like there was black people just mm -hmm. waiting for black uh, fucking this stuff. So that's black. So now they fire this fucking poor just manager who yeah. say just, hey, what are you doing here? Mm -hmm. And then because she called the cops on these black people and the cops say there's nothing wrong with these black people. But because this went viral, mm -hmm. run away, they say it's discrimination, the blah, 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 blah. And that's what happened. That's what they reward this employee yeah. fucking money. Because fucking, no, because there's black people, no, because discrimination, because the Starbucks fucking <clears throat> shit on their employee. That's yeah. why. And run away. The blame on their employee. Yeah, run away. That was not us. We never, we have a policy. We, uh, we let them sit. We let them pee. Nobody asked them to uh, leave. Yeah. And they say no. That was different policy before. If you're not, you fucking have to leave. Mm -hmm. That's what she said, and her manager tell her this too. Whatever is so meeting. So then, what she did, what she know. Yeah. And then fucking server. No, fuck it. Ah, ah. <laughs> and now she like ah, ha, ha, 20 million, 2 million, yeah. 7 million. 
And and they say, oh, how she knows she's gonna make so much money in the future? Well, now she don't have to make money in the future. She has you money. fucked her. Yeah, yeah. So now she deserves the fucking money. And that's it. Yeah. Very good. Thank it's, you. It says here that the 52 year old she was fired. Less 52? Than, yeah. Oh, she, she they give her on the minute. Yeah, retirement now. No, but sh- why she need so much money? <laughs> she was fired less than a month after. Uh, yeah, later yeah. after. And her probably objecting... life was so scared because all black people fucking try to kill her probably. Yeah, after objecting to oh, the yeah. manager being placed on leave aimed at the uproar according to her lawsuit, the company's rational for suspending the district manager who was not responsible for the store mm-hmm. where the arrest took place was an alleged allegation that black store managers were being paid less than white store managers, according to the lawsuit. Yeah, the Starbucks is crazy. <laughs> you're black, you can have price. Yeah, you're cheaper. Yeah. Philip said that the argument made no sense since... You saw dist- ice cream. Since, the, <laughs> since okay. district managers <laughs> had no input on employee salaries. The lawsuit alleged... Yeah, they they don't like the Starbucks tells them this is what you pay people with these titles, and then they go okay. That's what she said. Black title. Yeah. Minimum, minimum. The lawsuit alleged Starbucks was instead taking steps to punish white employees who worked in the area in an effort to convince the community that they had properly responded to the incident. See, that's what I'm saying. Starbucks are in the way. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's not our policy. That's the management. We're yeah. going to punish them. It's fire. Yeah. So it says here, Starbucks is seeking a new trial, arguing that jurors were allowed to remain despite having expressed negative opinions about the company. That... Incorrect information in witness testimonies poisoned the well, and that Phillips should not have been a rewarded double damages on both the state and federal allegations. She should be even on the space allegation. Yeah, she should get it another. That's version. crazy that Starbucks would like fight that saying, "Oh, the jury was poisoned with the wrong information." No, there's videos of it. The fucking Starbucks was like, oh, this looks racist. We need to fire the white woman that called the cops on the black guys. And she has to take the blame for it so we don't get in shit. No, what the problem was was this policy. I remember when they were saying, you don't have to be, you can sit in Starbucks and you don't have to order nothing. Yeah, they changed it after that shit happened. Yeah, but then they started asking. Because it cost them... Fucking now twenty seven million dollars oh, to fucking, fucking do it. Yeah, every everybody fucking the, everyone is, everyone is everybody have like unbelievable idiots. team of loyals who can fucking twist everything. You know what I mean? Like a team from Starbucks loyals probably make like fucking crazy thing and find each other say, Yeah, listen, you fucking idiots. You paid the guy or fucking two million dollars. Two million? Two million. They gave her twenty five million. Yeah, twenty five. Then million. they gave her another two point seven million. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You paid this, or we're we gonna go fucking for billion. Oh, we paid. Yeah, that's what did happen. Yeah, but it's crazy. Like they fired her for doing her job. 